Hey, man, so you're in season four of uh, Grace and Frankie, and it's about to stream on Netflix. You've been nominated for NAACP Image Award yes. for Outstanding Supporting Actor yeah. in a Comedy Series, man. Yes. That, uh... Congratulations, man. How's that feel? Well, you know, anytime you're acknowledged for your work, it, it feels good. So I'm very, very thankful. It's nice to know that I have a, a good image because it was a while I wasn't sure there. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's always, it's always nice. I love the show and um, the fact that they acknowledge the character, it, it means I mean, it's got to be great for you, man. You've been in this business a while. I've been doing it but, for over 50 years. Wow. Yeah. But to years. still be relevant, man. I trust the universe to, um, to just deliver, you know, what is meant for you and, uh, and has never failed me. Wow. So, you know... Um, when I um, was asked to do the show and be Lily Tomlin's boyfriend, I'd never uh, met her before, but um, she's so amazing and, and gracious. It's just uh, been a lot of fun. Okay, you hadn't met Lily. Had you met Jane Fonda before working on the show? Well, you know, I, I worked with Sam Watterson and Martin Sheen I knew. Jane Fonda I met at uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles about 20... <laughs> About 20 years ago. Yeah. So when I did the show, I, I went up to her and said, hey, uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, I met you at uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, and she looked at me like you're looking at me now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>